Today we are looking at the newest purchase of the Clinton Fire and Rescue Department on their newest rescue vehicle. This is a beautiful design and it's built on an aluminum extruded body. It is a lightweight design but can carry way more payload and it will never have any type of rusting issues. I'm going to walk you through a few features right now to just highlight a few couple areas here that are really neat for the fire department. This is on a four-door F550 chassis. All of the lighting is LED light. This has a brush guard with the worn winch. Just a great setup feature there for what they have. Then we'll actually show you many features here, but this will show you there are quartz lights that are can be telescoping on all corners as well as the rear. So you can actually see the lights up above. Now I'm going to take you to the first compartment. This is a great setup here. They actually have a Bauer compressor unit that has been installed. You can actually see where the spare cylinders would be going inside. And then they have a dry storage area with this door. Behind here are the three cylinders. So I'm actually going to show you. If they wanted to actually fill the cylinder up here, they would drop it in here, hook it up, and fill it up. I'm also going to show you their compartment over the over the wheel well. This actually shows you it's an adjustable tool boards and they're actually pull out. One of them is obviously stationary and the other one has been pulled out as well. So this is a transverse compartment and we'll see the other side in a second. This is actually showing you the rear compartment, adjustable shelves. They can put any type of equipment that they would like to actually mount off of the side. In the rear, just gives you a quick snapshot of what the rear looks like. They also have the quartz lights off of the rear showing you the chevron striping. This is a great setup as well. We have plumbed everything for their first tools showing you the streamlined couplings and being able to, to hook up to their tools. This is a slide master tray so they can pull out whatever they would like to you know you know to pull it out if they needed to deploy it out to have better access so that's showing you off of the um, rear this is actually showing you now the actual officer side so that's kind of giving you a quick look here is there 200 foot of cord reel and then they also have this Harrison 5500 gas generator this is pretty neat too we've shown this in the past but we are seeing more and more people that really like the option of being able to deploy out the actual junction boxes here to hook up. This is actually showing you they actually have a rollout tray over this particular compartment. This is actually a rollout tilt down tray. So again, they can put any of their equipment in there have a great setup here for any of their airbags that they would like to be able to put into the compartment here. Another access from this side or their other um, tools that they're going to be mounting in here. This will show you an actual tray up above there and then actually showing you the cylinders. Kind of gives you a quick look on the inside. And then another great compartment on the inside. So we just wanted to show you again another option for what a rescue truck can look like for you. If you would like more information about this truck or any of the other trucks that we sell, please feel free to contact us at Sunbelt Fire. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Sunbelt Fire. Thank you for what you do in the fire service and stay safe.